This is a video on how to change a print ribbon in a TSC 247 printer. Firstly, turn off the power and remove the power cable. Remove the printer from the printer stand, like so. Then need to pull the two green levers down towards the bottom of the printer to open the printer up, making it accessible to change the ribbon. To reveal the ribbons, you will need to open up the clear casing like so. You will now need to remove the waste ribbon from the machine. This can be done by pushing across to the left hand side and removing and removing the ribbon or taking the ribbon off the cardboard tube which once was the new ribbon. Once you've done that, please do not throw this away. You will need to remove the plastic centre core or what we call the spool and keep that for the new ribbon. We now need to remove the cardboard tube that once had the new ribbon on it and this will now become the take up or the bottom roller for the weight ribbon to roll onto once we install the new ribbon. To do that, again, push across to the left hand side, making sure that the white painted side of the black spool is still on the right hand side of the printer. Place in to the left hand side, push across and then turn until it clicks into position. Next step would be to do a bit of maintenance on the printer itself and we would recommend doing so by using a microfiber cloth and some brake cleaner. What we would ask you to do is spray the brake cleaner onto the cloth and give the print head, the heat element of the machine, a clean. This is located under the metal strip that you see here. It is a brown glassy strip followed by a green strip behind and all you would do is wipe with the wet side of the cloth then take the dry side of the cloth and wipe away any excess. Also, at the bottom of the machine here, you have a grey platen roller. Now that can get covered in dirt and dust. And again, what we'd ask you to do is brake clean up onto the microfiber cloth, give that a clean over, turn and clean, turn and clean, until that becomes perfectly clean uh, with no excess dirt or dust situated on the roller at all step is to get the new ribbon ready to be installed into the printer. Firstly, remove the cellophane plastic wrapping from the ribbon itself. Unstick the ribbon so it's coming off on the right hand side and will unroll in a clockwise rotation. Take your black plastic spool and push through the centre of the cardboard core of the new ribbon. It's now time to install the ribbon into the actual printer itself. To do this, you're just going to turn the ribbon so the white side of the black plastic tube is on the right hand side of the printer and the ribbon is feeding from the rear of the ribbon. This will then go straight into the machine, like so. Click in to the left hand side and then must click in properly to the right hand side. To complete the ribbon install, what you will now need to do is just take the clear cellophane protective wrapping of the ribbon, new ribbon that we've just installed, and locate that nice and straight onto the bottom take up waste ribbon spool and turn the right hand side of the, of the spool into the machine. Both ribbons should be rotating in exactly the same direction, feeding down under the print head directly onto the waste cardboard. It's time to get the printer back into a ready position to start printing plates again. To do that, you would close and press in on the clear casing, lift the top section of the printer and usher the stand forward, which is in, located in the top right hand corner. This will then allow the casing to close. Please do not let it slam together. Compress down on both sides and then we will get, be ready to put it back onto the stand. Now it's time to put the printer back on the stand. All you will do is lift the printer, locate the bottom lip into the bottom section of the printer here, and there is a hook on the back which will go over the back of the actual printer stand itself. And it will just sit on like so. Next step is to reapply the power to the printer. By doing this, make sure that the printer is still in the off position uh, put the power into the socket and switch the power on. It will then go through a startup process of an orange light and followed by a continuous green light, which indicates that we're ready to print. 